morning everyone, my name is Sam and welcome to another morning with GSC at home. Today we're going to talk about human's best friend, the dog. So this is Penny, my miniature Labradoodle. She's going to help us with an experiment exploring vision in animals and how it's different from how humans see the world. Now maybe you've heard that dogs can only see in black and white. This is a misconception. Now we would describe dogs as being colour blind, but it doesn't mean that they can't see colour. Humans see colour using receptors in the retina of our eyes called cones. Now we have three kinds, each of which gets activated by different wavelengths or colours of light. Most humans have cones that can detect blue, red and green wavelengths of light, but dogs, just like some humans who are colour blind, only have two. Dogs can detect blue and yellow wavelengths of light, so they can't see the colour red. But they can tell the difference between different shades of blue, yellow and grey, in something that kinda looks like a dirty green-brown. To test this out, Penny has a kindly agreed to help us with an experiment. To test her eyesight, we're going to play a game with two different balls, a blue one and a red one. And we'll also have Frances helping out. We will get her to stay not look at where we place the ball and then ask her to fetch. We'll then count how long it takes her to find each ball. And to test the validity of the task, we'll repeat each one three times. Now, this is her favourite game, so she should have no problem. First, we'll start with the blue ball. Okay, go find your ball! Go find it! Go find it! Go find your ball. Go find it. Where's your ball? Go find it. Good girl. Next up, the red ball. Penny. Where's your ball? Go find it! Where's your ball? Go find it! Where's your ball? Go find it! So, as you can see, it took her longer to find the red ball than it did the blue one. To her, the red ball was lost amongst the grass, whilst the blue ball appears much more brightly in her vision. What other senses might Penny have used to find the ball? Okay, what happens if we test her by throwing each ball? Will she see one ball more easily than the other? Let's test it. First, we'll start with the blue ball. Next up, the red ball. This doesn't make much of a difference, as despite the colour differences, dogs are able to see moving objects much more clearly than we can. This is called motion sensitivity and is much more important to dogs than colour vision. 
Dogs are also able to see much better in the dark too, because their eyes reflect light much better than ours. So, thank you for joining us for another GSC at home. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below, and either myself or Penny will get back to you as soon as we can. But for now, take care, and we'll see you again soon.